Uh, great. It's awesome. It's just really exciting for us to come out here and be able to compete with these kind of teams. And on this night, uh, in this stadium, in this situation, it's honestly one of the better feelings I've ever had coming out here and getting a W for sure. What do you guys learn about yourselves in a, in a win like this, about what you can do? We just, we just know we can come out here and compete uh, for sure and compete with the best of them. I mean, playing a Pac-12 opponent, no one really gives us a chance in the beginning. And come out and go, oh, wow, these guys are actually pretty good. So that's, I mean, we, but we knew we can do this the whole time. This is other people. I, I would say it's more other people for sure realizing, oh, they can do this now. So. Where did you kind of settle down? Uh, probably the second series. Second series when it felt a little bit better and a little bit more slowed down. The, um, I mean, that's usually what it takes. But um, yeah, I'd say second series when it starts to slow down. What does this mean to you? I mean, you come in, you get your first start, and then you know, break a record in the first game and knock off a, a Pac-12 team. Uh, it's awesome. It's a dream come true. I've been I wanted to play in a Pac-12 stadium against Pac-12 teams my whole life, and uh, I got this opportunity, and I really. I really want to thank Coach Baldwin and the Eastern Washington University for giving me that opportunity. And, uh, and it's, it's honestly just a dream come true for me to be able to have this opportunity to do this. Cooper, obviously, not a big fan. What's it like to throw balls to the guy like that? Uh, it's unreal. No, you never, you can't really explain it, honestly, because he's so good in other ways. And you, you can throw a ball within 10 feet of him, and he, you just get to catch it. It's just the way it is. He's, that's how good he is. And uh, he's, I mean, he's awesome. No way to explain it. Just awesome. What do you like those final seconds, the clock ticking down? Uh, when I guess when did it start ticking? I mean, after the touchdown on the run, I mean, that was like, okay, we have a good shot doing this. But then, you know, they, you realize, okay, they got time. They go and score. They you get onside kick. They have a chance to Hail Mary or possibly go kick a field goal or whatever. So, I, I mean, after, I would say, once you said it was completely over with, was when we got the onside kick for sure. What was that moment Pretty surreal, honestly. It's a pretty special feeling just to know and I mean, so be able to go out there and just take a knee, you know, and you just beat a Pac-12 team. It's a really cool feeling. Mm -hmm.